good afternoon. Welcome to the mill, the Warco 16B mill. Um, I've had to take it apart, um, nothing wrong with it. I've tested it before I took it apart, everything's working fine. Um, it was just manhandling the machine itself. So I've done, I've stripped it down into different components, also cleaned it as I go. Um, all this has been really really cleaned um, what I have noticed these oilways here I don't know if you can see them see them there all down there they're quite sharp and it doesn't allow the oil to come over the top and come on to here to get in contact with the, with the bed so it would just be staying in the it was just staying in this groove and you'd probably get a little bit come out but anyway um, it's all been it's all been cleaned up all the edges all these edges are nice and clean um, I had all the wheel out I had the um, the spindle out um, it's all been ground it's you can see how they've ground it that's been ground to get it level on the back place here you can see all the grime marks. Looks like they've gone over with a looks like a linishing bit of linishing there. When I took it apart, I stuck bits of tape over all the joints. So you can see a little bit of tape down there, and the other half of the tape is obviously on on here, but it's it's on the other end, I should say. It's it's on there a little, you can see it there. So, obviously, when, when I tram it up, it shouldn't be far out. It could, could be three or four minutes out, but hopefully it should be nearly there. It's a very heavy machine, actually. Um, I would say all the components around the 25 to 30 kilo mark, um, that's easy to carry. That's easy to carry. Um, the the uh, actual table itself, that's, easy, that's quite easy. But um, when you come to the head, which I think is the heaviest, it is a little bit heavy. And you don't want to be bending down uh, when you take it off. What I did, I added on the pallet, um, I took the table off. Uh, yeah, I took the table off and everything else that was loose that I could take off, any, anything. But um, you can't take this off because it's, it's all wired in so you can't, can't touch that. So that has to come off in one. What I, um, one of the things I didn't want to do was take this off while it was attached to this which is the upright. So what I did, I undone the upright from there, then dropped the whole lot down gently onto a pallet and I put some rags and cloth down, cardboard. But it was quite easy to, to do it that way. And then when you've got it down, you can actually see, go up inside and see the studs. Three of those have got to be, have got to be moved. Have got to, Got to, they got to have to take the nuts off because they're holding the head on. So what you don't want to do is undo this while it's in midair because it's it's quite heavy to hold and it's very awkward to prop up and keep in place. So I thought it was best to lie it down as you see it here with the head with the head on here and then you just go underneath and, and unbolt it. Which is a lot easier. Um, don't try and take it off while it's attached to the the, the, uh, the base plate. Um, just take it off all in one and just ease it back um, because it, this it just slides off the back there. And I just put some I put some rag and some muslin over the back of it so it wouldn't so it wouldn't. I didn't want to mark the paint so, but it, obviously I didn't want to damage this edge. Uh, yeah, it's it's um, come apart very easy. 
and also you want to take take the wheel off before you take it apart before you undo the four bolts take take this wheel off here um, because what happens if it does go down a bit heavy it's going to hit the wheel and probably either bend this or damage the wheel so you don't want to do that um, I have been going over it with a with a, a very mild stone um, this hasn't been cleaned yet but it doesn't feel too bad um, that could do a little bit of bit of work on it and what I did notice um, the the spanner they give you I tell you uh, oh here it is this spanner I think it's been um, laser cut or something it's, it's like a razor blade it really is you could cut paper on that that, that edge there everything on this and why they don't trim these bloody things up I don't know because I, I just grabbed all of it out of the plastic bag and uh, it, it stuck into my hand oh bloody hell it's, it's not on I'm going to tell Wilco about this one anyway or oh, Wilco Wilco I keep calling it a bloody Wilco it's Wilco W-A-R-C-O Wilco but all in all I'm quite happy with it it's um, all, this, all, the more, all the bits and pieces down here. Ah, when you take, uh, where are we now? Ah, when you take the table off, where the gib tensioners go in, which are, which are these, they'll inside the hole. There are these. I'll just put it back on here. There are two of those little, they, they line the gib up. So when you tighten the gib up, they go in. The, the angle of the gib, which you can see on there, that's the angle of the gib. And that follows the gib in, so when you, when you just tweak it up a bit, they follow it in and touch the gib. I didn't realise it was in there until I seen it on, on the... I'll, it, they came out. They came out here. A little hole in there. I thought, oh, where they come from? Have I lost any more? But there's only two. There's only two to this uh, particular mill. Yeah, and that's where they come out of. In there. Because that's the hole where that spring, where this goes in. The spring gear, spring and uh, bolt. So yeah, look out for them. There's the gib itself. Yeah, it's all got to be cleaned. Keep all this stuff in one place. All where I was doing, I put it all in the box. Um, I think that was the best thing to do. Put everything in your box. All these parts are out in order, ready to go back on. So yeah, happy. It cleans up very easy. As I can say, um, I did test it obviously before I stripped it all down. And to carry it or to get a crane in or anything like that, I was going to ask some friends to help me pick it up. But if they hurt their backs, and it would, it wouldn't be very, uh, it wouldn't be very nice. So to hire a crane for the day, I think it was a hundred pound. And I thought, well, I want to see how it all goes together. I want to clean it. I want to check everything. So the best thing I thought was to strip it down. There's four parts. One, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, this is the guard. Where all the stuff's lying in. This is the guard. And that's that's um, it's a safety. It's got a safety trigger on it. So if you have the guard open, um, it won't come the, the lathe, the uh, mill won't um, won't operate. So and that's where it goes. That's where it goes into there. So all in all, I'm quite pleased with it. I've never owned a mill. I've never used a mill. So we're going to have some fun. And what I like about this, it's got a, a brushless motor. Um, I wish I'd have bought the, the... I 
I've got the, um, it's all in a plastic bag now. Uh, I've got the Warco uh, 180 lathe. Um, it hasn't got the brushless motoring, but it goes, it goes. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'll give you a nice little toolbox. Um, that's the sort of on there. All the spanners, you'll see all the spanners, what they give you. I don't need to show you that. Those are the wheels. They give you a little oiling can. Give you a set of Allen keys. They don't give you the Allen key to fit the studs at the back here because they're, they're 10 mil. So if you are going to take it apart, you'll need a 10 mil spanner. That's the only spanner, well, sorry, um, a wrench, uh, Allen key, I should say, one of those. You need a 10 mil one. Well, luckily I had one. So yes, you will need one of those. Hopefully you don't have to take it apart. But it is nice to see how it all goes together and get rid of these sharp sharp edges. Those are, those are really nice now. That's finished. That's clean, finished, ready to go. So I shall put the... Uh, I'm also having the um, DRO. I'm going to fit a DRO to it. So while it's stripped down, I shall put the side one on and then do the uh, do the back one for this for the upright and then I can also fit the one for the table so I'll, I'll have the three axes covered then. It saves me struggling trying to, especially the back one, the, the table is quite difficult to fit because you've got a rubber mat that protects the protects the um, base and the uh, and everything else that's, that's underneath all your gobbins it covers this up here and I'll wind this back and it, oh, it's, it's really nice I haven't tightened the handle up yet not, not the handle the um, the winder no, I haven't tightened that up but it's, it's really, it really nice it's on a slippy table so it's moving around a bit, but it, when it's bolted down, it's, it's nice. So, all that's done. Yeah, I was a little bit hesitant about taking it apart because of, of actually trying to carry this stuff into the shed. But yeah, I stripped it all down in the garage and it uh, comes on a big pallet. I'm going to use the pallet to lower the... Um, to lower the actual machine down so it wouldn't wouldn't crash to the floor and plenty of padding plenty of padding so I didn't I didn't damage it there's no marks on it which I you know you've got a brand new machine you just don't want to get any scratches on it so yeah I'm going to leave it there then youtubers and uh, join me in my mill for the first time owning a mill and first time I've ever using one so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm getting on great with the with the lathe. So hopefully there's lots of YouTube help and information. So anything you don't know, you just look up on YouTube. I didn't even know how to get the uh, was it, the, the drawbar. It comes with. Um, it comes with Comes with that already fitted, and I couldn't get the damn thing out because you don't want to want to try and put it together with that in. So yeah, I got it out. Went on YouTube, had a look. They told me this cake. So that tells you how much knowledge I have got of these mill, milling machines. So, but I watch Aid. If anybody watches a video channel, you must go to Aid's workshop it's brilliant absolutely brilliant he's such a talented man he's got tons of knowledge and he tells you in not it's not complicated the way he explains stuff it's it's quite it's quite simple the way he does it yeah I've, I've learned a lot from aid and and several other people yeah anyway I am gonna leave you this time and I've rattled on too long now so, 
I'll see you later than YouTubers for the final and we will try and get this put back together after I've cleaned it all up and we'll be there okay then goodbye have a nice afternoon I know it's cold get up by that fire get the telly on goodbye and if you haven't subscribed just hit that red that red subscribe button and uh, give us a give us a thumbs up it's lovely to have a thumbs up you know and that's I'm not doing it for money or anything like that I've got many subscribers actually uh, could do with a few more I'm not doing it for that I'm just doing it for people can learn things and I've learned tons of stuff so I am gonna go see you later bye the bye bye bye